Well, this is Dublin, the capital city of Ireland. And uh, at the top of Grafton Street later today, we're going to go to Maths in the Street. This is a fantastic and exciting event where we're going to do mathematics for the passers-by. And I'm going to show you a few of those little problems. So uh, let's go to Grafton Street. This famous puzzle is known as the Towers of Hanoi. It's actually known by many other names as well. It was invented in the year 1883 by a French mathematician named Edouard Lucas. And um, there's a legend attached to it, which is really rather cute. And the legend goes like this. Somewhere in a temple deep underground in India, slash Vietnam, slash China, slash wherever you happen to have heard the legend first, um, there are three posts, just like those. And what happens is the monks have to move these circular discs from one post to another. They must only ever move one at a time and they can only ever put a smaller one on top of a larger one, never the other way around. And the legend has it that once they've moved all of the stones, the world will end. Well, there we go, three moves for two. But I suppose if we're gonna start small, we need to go bigger. So let's make a note of what we've done and see what happens with three stones. Here it goes. Okay, well, there's our original three moves. Now an extra move to move the middle one. Ah, and then of course, it's gonna take another three moves to move into position. Can you spot the pattern there, I wonder? So there it is, with three stones, three moves, then another one, then three more. That's exactly seven. What now? What now? Here's what now. I want you to make a table. Uh, you should always do that anyway when you're looking for patterns and things. And uh, as you can see on this one, we've said with two stones, it's three moves. With three stones, it was three moves and another three moves and one in the middle, which was seven. And now, get some equipment. Use coins, uh, use counters, use any sort of math equipment you've got. And see if you can either predict or just by having a go, how many moves it would take to move four stones. Why not pause while you do that? Well, hopefully you've had a go with four, and if you had enough goes, you will have found the answer is 15, as we see here. And if you're really clever, you'll see the pattern for five is gonna be 31, but here's the really cool thing. 64 stones, the world will end. Don't worry, it's billions of seconds away. How extraordinary is that? So, interesting pattern there. Every time you add another stone, you double the number of moves and add one. But there's another pattern there which is really exciting, all about powers of two. I'm not going to say any more than that because I know lots of you like to go away and investigate stuff. But if you want to send me an email uh, with your thoughts and solutions, there is a very neat solution. Um, feel free to, and I even promise to reply. One more thing. How many seconds exactly would it take for that many stones? Well, that's for you to find out. 